Hey everybody, welcome to That Vinyl Channel. I'm That Vinyl Guy, Boz. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, another member of the VC. This is um, Melinda Murphy. Uh, she has an amazing channel. I've been watching her for quite a while. Uh, I'll go ahead and put links below, uh, down below to her channel. This is in reference to a video that she put up, I don't know, maybe about almost two weeks ago, maybe a little more, uh, something like that. But uh, she had a question on the video about this record right here, which is um, uh, Elton John, Madman Across the Water. Uh, this was a Walmart exclusive that she got. And uh, she had questions about this. Basically, she wanted to know what to do with the PVC sleeve. Now, uh, this came in the PVC sleeve as a lot of picture discs do. Now, this isn't a picture disc. It's actually a, a, a multicolor disc. But um, they do this so they can uh, showcase the record and in hopes uh, to go ahead and get you to buy it. Now, um, uh, there are many reasons why you probably don't want to keep records uh, directly in PVC sleeves. Uh, they can cause problems uh, such as uh, misting and uh, clouding of the, uh, of the vinyl as well as hissing of the vinyl, uh, especially if the vinyl is not stored in an optimum fashion. So uh, it's just best overall just not to keep vinyl in a PVC sleeve like this. Uh, so once you get it, you should go ahead and remove it and store it in a different way. But again, like Melinda was asking, what do you do with the PVC sleeve? And I'm going to show you what I do with my PVC sleeves. So uh, have that coming up. So stick around and don't touch that dial. Okay, so uh, again, as I said before, this was a response to Melinda Murphy. If you have not subscribed to her channel, I recommend you go ahead and do so. Again, I'm going to put a link down below and you can check out her channel. And I'll put a link to the video that she uh, had questions about this record on. So what do you do with the PVC sleeve? So I'm going to show you what I do. So, um, not sure if you all are familiar with these. Okay, I have a little stack of them down here. Uh, I may go ahead and take a video of the stack and uh, and put it on on the screen here so you can see see it. But if you buy records uh, in the mail, okay, generally they take these uh, these 12 by 12 pieces of cardboard and they put them inside of the mailer, and that way uh, it cushions the uh, the box. It helps to keep the the record from bending. Uh, it helps to keep the package from bending. So uh, again, I have a stack of these, and I uh, and I uh, do use them for different things um, in my music room, uh, including I don't know if you can see from here. I'll go ahead and take a video as well, but I also make dividers for my records out of these as well. So, uh, but one thing you can do with this is that you can do this to uh, 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 deal with the problem of your PVC sleeves. Now, even though you don't want to store your vinyl in PVC sleeves. Uh, most of us store our vinyl in this kind of sleeve here. Uh, this is, a, I think this is a polyurethane uh, sleeve. I also have what's called PPE sleeves. Uh, so those kind of sleeves are fine for storing your vinyl. There's no problem whatsoever. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you, uh, show you what I do. So let me go ahead and find the record here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the record out of this sleeve here. Okay. There you go. I took the record out of the sleeve. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the polyurethane sleeve. Let's see. Put it like that. Okay, there you go. So now we have it in a polyurethane sleeve. It's safe and sound. No problems. I do want to point out that that was an inner sleeve. Okay, so that's a sleeve you use when you uh, for the records on the inside of, of, of outer sleeves. This here is a polyurethane sleeve that would go on the outside. Okay, it's a little bit bigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this record here on the inside of this sleeve like this. Of course, it's not easy to do this sitting in this chair. If I was standing up at my desk, it'd be a lot, e it'd be a lot easier. But since I wanna show you all here what I'm doing, so like that, okay, so I have this, this inner sleeve and it's inside this outer sleeve. So then what I do is I take this piece of cardboard here 
and I put it in the back. Now I do this for a reason, and that's for stability. Okay, because uh, these these car pieces of the cardboard are pretty sturdy, and this is not very sturdy. Actually, this one is more sturdier than others because it does have this thinner piece of cardboard on the inside. A lot of these PVC sleeves, I don't have anything on the inside. So uh, if you notice them on a store shelf, they usually, they usually droop or or they bend or they slide because the the PVC bends. So this one's not so bad, but but um, it's, it's still a good idea to go ahead and do this. So then what you do is you take the PVC sleeve and you put it in the back like that. Okay, so now what you have is you have the PVC sleeve in the back and you have the record in the front and you can still see it. Now, uh, the reason why you want to uh, do this is because, uh, you know, as collectors, most of us want to keep whatever original material came with our records and that includes the original PVC sleeves. So, uh, you know, sometimes there, there's hype stickers on them or I even have some that have... Uh, uh, I'm not sure the term may be embroidered, but just names actually part of the PVC sleeve, and so um, uh, and, and 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 other stickers, whatever. But you know, it's a good idea to go ahead and keep all the original stuff that came uh, with your PVC sleeve. So um, so we have this, and we have this in the front. So now this is nice and safe and sound because this is now in the poly sleeve in the front, and your PVC sleeve. Is now in the back. I've actually done this to uh, a lot of my picture discs and and such. And I'll go ahead and show you some examples here. So we have uh, Footloose. So there's the actual disc, and uh, there is the PVC sleeve in the back behind it. And I have um, this here is uh, 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 a 45 RPM single, bad English. Uh, and uh, again, there is the uh, PVC sleeve in the back. And this one here is uh, a Genesis Illegal Alien, the seven inch single as a picture disc. And uh, in the back, I do have the PVC sleeve. And I have uh, this, uh, this Toto here, this Toto Africa. And in the back, I have the PVC. And as you see, PVC has all these stickers on it. And so uh, it's just a good idea to go ahead and keep the PVC uh, sleeves. And I use the, uh, the cardboard. Okay, and it separates the the disc from the PVC sleeve, and it gives it some stability. As the this is, you know, you know, this is floppy, so it's, you know it's not a good idea to have it in there, you know, just by itself. It needs this, it needs this uh, this rigid piece in there, uh, uh, so that way it'll stand up in your collection. So that's what I do with all my picture discs. And, and all the discs that I have that come in PVC sleeves, I go ahead and put the PVC sleeve, the original PVC sleeve in the back, and I have the record in the front. So there you go. Uh, that's my answer for Melinda, uh, what to do with PVC sleeves, how you can store them, and how you can keep them, and it shouldn't cause you any problems that way. So uh, it's gonna be a pretty quick video, and I do wanna thank everybody for joining me today. If you have not subscribed to my channel, now's a great time to do so. Uh, please go ahead and tap on that subscribe button and be sure to go ahead and bash on that bell for notifications. And that way you know when I put up brand new videos just like this one here. But again, I want to thank everybody for joining me today and I'll see y'all next time.